Hi everyone, this is Dennis. I'm speaking on behalf of Pips Matter and I've got a very special video analysis for you here. As you see on your screen, it says trading the FOMC. Today, 14th of June, we have the FOMC meeting coming out at 6 o'clock GMT. So, without any further ado, I'm going to be going over what's important. Well, a couple of important things that you need to know. Firstly, volatility is expected on USD, uh, gold, silver, and of course US stocks. Now, when I say US stocks, I of course mean the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and the Dow Jones. Now, very interesting play on the NASDAQ happening. We released an analysis about this earlier this week, actually yesterday. Uh, we've been buying it ever since yesterday. Things are looking really good for us and all the members that took the trades, which is literally everyone. So things are going really good and uh, we do expect a ton of volatility today. But like this post says, well, if you're on our website, you can read the post. It says that volatility is good. Volatility equals risk and risk equals returns. So at 12.30 GMT, we will get the final data release from the USA. We will be receiving CPI inflation and retail sales at 12.30 GMT. This will be the last piece of important data before the very important um, before the very important FOMC meeting later today. So US data has been very weak recently. Um, the CPI that's coming out today and retail sales, they came out with low expectations for two consecutive months this year so far. Um, right now this is the third release and uh, it's not looking very good. Expectations are still low, um, but the rebound could assist the dollar to gain some strength. Moving over uh, to the chances of a rate hike. According to the CME group, the chance of a rate hike tonight is 99.6% and it's constantly increasing. Finally, the risk uh, of the Fed not actually raising interest rates does loom around. And I'm going to explain to you guys why. Firstly, we do have the a rise in political tensions in the US. Uh, it's not looking very good. And I'm going to be explaining that after this. First, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go be going to the charts. I'm going to show you the charts very quickly. And then I'm going to go back to the slide where I'm going to be speaking about um, the recent political risks in the USA. But nevertheless, the most important event today is the FOMC meeting. Now, this is one of the bigger meetings with updated projections and a press conference. Um, this is very much against concerts, but I do believe that the Fed could stay on hold today because the Fed is data dependent and should wait at least one more meeting to confirm the recent weakness, uh, to confirm that the recent weakness is actually temporary. Uh, I, do, I do have to admit that the Fed has many times, well, not many times, but it has in the past raised interest rates because expectations were high, but then noted in the meeting that uh, things are not looking so good. So it was a very dovish meeting, even though they raised interest rates. Uh, we're going to go over to the charts right now, and I'm going to give you more important information. Hang on for a second. Okay, we are on the charts. You're looking at NASDAQ. You can see the one hour chart, 10 minute chart. So this is one hour, 10 minute, and finally here, the one day. You can see this white level here, that's price action working at its best, uh, a recent resistance becoming a support. Uh, then we have the, the, the swing down level here, the, the yellow level here, that's the 30% area, bullish, very bullish area, and price has been going up ever since. We started buying NASDAQ yesterday, our targets are here, so it's just under the 6,000 level, and then above the 6,000 level, and then close to 6.2. These are our targets. I do have a pending order that's about to be triggered pretty soon. Um, um, we're looking at the Nasdaq going up, even though interest rates would contradict that. Uh, interest rates support the banking sector, um, hence the reason why, hence the reason Friday's two percent, two percent drop happened. But I think it only created the trend, and I think a new high should come today on the Nasdaq. Uh, because even though the Fed might raise interest rates, I still think it's going to be a very dovish meeting and the projections for rate hikes might decrease. Um, anyway, I'm not going to try and speculate on that. I'm speculating on price. That's where I make money, not on guessing what Yellen's going to say or what the Fed's really going to do. My major projection is that the Nasdaq is going to be good and that the dollar will be weak. I need you to hang on for a second. We're going to be going over EURUSD and one more pair 
before we head back to the charts. On Euro USD, we also have three target levels. You're looking at exactly the same setup, one hour chart, 10 minute chart, and this is a weekly chart. So I'm just gonna go down to the daily just to show you what we're working on here. So um, the three target levels that we have are this. Okay, so 113.5, uh, let's say 114, 114.3, and then all the way up here on this blue line. The biggest chances are that the blue line will be achieved today, and that's a 300 pip move. Maybe not today, but by the end of the week, it could be achieved. Um, if you are just tuning in, I'm going to be setting on, on a, a support level, and that's right there. This is a very important support area. You can see it work in this area here, a couple of times here as well. I'm going to mark this as yellow, and this support area is not very far away. It's only about 50 pips away, and volatility could reach that level later today. Um, However, this support level here, this yellow line here, indicates that we do have um, we do have a nice level that uh, price cannot breach just yet. But if it does, you're going to see a nice drop right to our support area. I'm not trading Euro USD right now. Uh, I am, however, waiting for a, a better confirmation on when to enter. Our idea is that the USD will be weak today and that the NASDAQ will be strong and that the S&P 500 and Dow Jones will be strong, but I, I, I believe that the biggest gainer will be the NASDAQ. Um, so yeah, uh, there are the targets. These are the buy targets that we're going to have. If we enter a trade, we will let our members know. If you want to know when we enter a trade, you better become our member. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's, uh, let's go over one more pair before we go on to the charts. Okay, the final pair we're looking at is GBP USD. I kind of want to cover uh, the UK, the Bank of England meeting tomorrow as well in this uh, quick analysis. And um, um, yeah, let's just head into this. So today you can see that the GBP is trading a little lower after uh, after having pretty high actually. It was, it was all the way at 40, 40, 40 50 pips in profit uh, for the day and now it's trading a little lower. Um, we are bullish on the pair in the medium term and uh, the long term. On the medium term, 132 is our target. On the long term, our target is much, much higher. It's all the way up here at one, just under 140. So that's that's our second target for a buy. Um, we are, however, however, we are waiting for a retest of this area, and I'm going to show you this right now. We're waiting for a retest of this area, and I really think it, it could be happening, you know, tomorrow. It could be happening today, um, but we're waiting for a retest of this yellow line. Okay, so that's what we're waiting for, something like this to happen. One sec. Some kind of an idea of a play like this. Uh, we have this major support here, this red one. I don't think this one will be reached, so I'm even going to remove it from here. But this one here, which is 200 something pips away, could be reached. So on the short term side, we are, you know, we are a little scared about trading the, the GBP USD up, but on the on the long term side, we are absolutely not. We're going to be buying GBP on the long term side, but specifically GBP USD. I'm not telling them we're going to be buying pounds everywhere. I'm telling them we're going to be buying it against uh, <clears throat> against uh, the US dollar. Um, short term momentum is quite mixed, you can see price going up and down, very mixed, very mixed uh, pair right now. Um, everyone's waiting for the news at, in 3 hours and then everyone's waiting for the big FOMC meeting in 5.5 hours. Um, that's pretty much it from the analysis. I know it's not giving you lots of information, I know that, I don't have the time to give you crazy information, I'm giving this crazy information to our members and everyone else gets the sloppy seconds I guess, so that's pretty much, that's pretty much how it goes. Uh, thank you and uh, hang on for the final slide. Okay, let's go over political tensions in the USA. So uh, uh, democratic lawmakers actually sued Trump for profiting from business deals involving foreign governments without the consent of actual Congress, which uh, is increasing political risks, uh, no doubt, in the USA. Now, more than 190 Democrats uh, from Congress 
actually sued the, the US president for violations of the US Constitution. Now, this is the largest ever number of lawmakers to sue a US president. And of course, it's the latest uh, series of legal efforts to get Trump to separate himself from his business, where it's just going to be a very hard thing to do. Uh, a few other suits have been filed by private businesses and even the Attorney General of Maryland and the District of Columbia. So it's going to be interesting to see how the Fed will um, put this into account. That's definitely, there is definitely political tensions, uh, uncertainty, let's say. Uh, data is not very good, but let's see what the Fed will do. My name is Dennis, and I really hope this information I provided to you helps you trade the FOMC a little bit better, maybe secure a little bit more profit, or maybe reduce or decrease your losses a little bit, or simply gives you less. If it does, I'm going to be repaid. If it doesn't, well, then I'm going to have to try harder. Like I said, my name is Dennis, and I wish you a super duper trading Wednesday. Bye-bye.